This is Dolly. Dolly is an ambitious girl pursuing a degree in one of the engineering colleges in Kerala. She has dreams, but she doesn't know how to conquer them. She is in a shell of constraints with fear of failure, unsupportive society, fear of judgment, imposter syndrome, and so on. This dolly can be me, you, her, or any woman out here. But I did not choose to be the dolly, but the sister for the all dollies to come out of their shell, overcoming their constraints, and fixing their wings of dreams. Myself, Ananya, DEI advocate, you can address me anything, but my sisters out there call me affectionately as their chechi. My story is very simple. I'm a simple woman who graduated from an engineering college in Kerala. My story is not extraordinary. I want to be like you. I am you. Most importantly, I want to have the relatability. Being a people person, when I was like Dolly, I wanted to be serving people. My ambition was to become a doctor. Fortunately or unfortunately, I joined in an engineering college in Kerala. Life seems so meaningless. The course that I didn't want to be chosen for. I hated it as many of you here. But then life brought in a lot of meaning when I entered into the world of tech communities. I was also like Dolly, as I said beginning. I was an imperfect woman with a lot of insecurities and fear of judgment, failure, and imposter syndrome. Now that I have joined this course, I have to do something out of it. That is when I I am a person with a lot of curiosity. I joined in the first prominent active communities in Kerala, which is IEEE. IEEE took me to the world of plethora of opportunities to learn, explore, grow, and meet people. Being an electronics and communication student, I tried out as much as things as possible when I was in first year. I tried out hardware components, workshops, events, boot camps, and hackathons. I tried out Arduino, Raspberry Pi, PCB fabrication, and many. Being serving for two years in IEEE, as Women in Engineering Coordinator, I was also awarded as Outstanding Women in Engineering Award for the impact that I made for the women community in Kerala. But then, hardware did not interest me for the first two years. I had to step down to find, I think, coding. I tried out all the coding languages, Python, Web, HTML, Android, Flutter. That is when I was taken into the second community, which is Google Developer Groups, community by Google. When my friend suggested me, it is a community led by professionals, which took me into another world where technology impacts the world. And I'm so glad and grateful to join this community for whom I am here today. By then, I was already in third year. I already got a good job, good placement, earning a good amount of salary per month. As Dolly, I was thinking I am settled in my life. By then, pandemic came in. While every one of us were coping up with that, I joined another famous community in Kerala. I joined there to learn one of the new technology, which changed my whole life. My story is very simple, very flawless. Didn't get doctor? Fine, go to engineering. Fine, you get a job. You're earning a monthly salary. But then. That is where I faced a lot of constraints as a woman. Can you imagine going to this college without an Android phone and a laptop? Yes, I went to hackathons, boot camps, events, sessions, did coding without an Android phone till second year and a laptop in final year. But then how did you learn, Ananya? That is where I find out people with same passion, interest, and community. I overcame the first constraint, the lack of device to learn technology. Secondly, is about a myth that every one of us are telling. People who from the non-technical background cannot learn coding. That is when I told in the beginning, I want to have you all the relatability in me. 
Yes, I was a biomax student. I wanted to be a doctor, but I know all the technical languages. If Ananya can do, all of you can do. Overcoming the second constraint. Third constraint, convincing the family. I think all the women out there might have faced this. My parents asked me, you have good set of syllabus. You are in a very good college. You got job. Why do you want to go to a community? Why do you want to learn technology? What does this make impact in your life? It took me five years of my life to convince my parents why I want to go for an overnight hackathon. Fourth one, rejections. Yes, Ananya was part of communities. Ananya was part of good company. Ananya got award. But then I have been rejected from major communities and great companies as well. Each rejection put me down. Each rejection brought tears in me. Each rejection stumbled me. But then after that, I woke up from that constraint. Fifth one, fear. Yes, as Dolly had, fear of judgment, fear of failure, lack of confidence. For example, when I joined one of the famous community I told, Google Developer Groups, I had that fear it is a community by Google. How will I even join there without the coding experience? This pulled me down. But that one step ahead that I kept in my life changed my story. Fine, but what are you doing to help this dolly? Four, five years back, when I joined these communities, <clears throat> I never knew the difference between what a men can do and what a women can do. Why? Because I come from a women's college where everything from welcome speech, connecting to projectors, to jumping onto walls to stick the posters, everything is done by women. Nothing showed me difference what a man and a woman can do until I joined that famous community, IEEE. Leading 30 colleges in Kerala showed me that difference in a mixed college and a women's college. Fine, as a student, as a dolly, I couldn't make much impact when I was in second year. Later, I joined the second community, WTM, where my most inspiring person, Lakshya Shivaramakrishnan, took me to the another world of professional women, the challenges and the constraints they face in their life. I have had heated conversations and fruitful conversations on to why women in tech communities. People still doesn't understand why do you even need a women community. Even if I overcame all these constraints, I never had a voice in my life to tell me Ananya, it is fine to feel less confident. Ananya, it is fine to feel the fear. Ananya, it is okay to get rejected. Ananya, if your parents did not convince, it's fine. I never had this voice in my life. Then I thought I should be that voice to all my sisters and dollies to fix their wings of dreams, to make that change happen. Thanks to Musa Meher, the CEO of Tinga Hub community, who trusted in me, who believed in the cause that I want to work in. We started together to build that women community. Today, I'm so grateful to talk about this in the month of March, the Women History Month, we celebrate the achievements of all women out here. Yes, we created opportunities for women. We were that voice for women. But then why do you need this women community? Here is the statistics. You can see 50% of the women or 50% of the graduates in BTEC and technical uh, colleges are women. But then, do you see women CEOs? Do you see tech startups by women? It is still less than 10%. Where are these women? Yes, you are getting graduates. Yes, you are getting people learning technology. But no woman is taking up the technical role. No woman is becoming a technical CEO. No woman is ready to take up a technical startup role. That is why we are here. I am here to be the change maker to support the dolly. Yes, we need to work on the senior leadership roles. But I believe I need to work on the young women in university who is good and potentially to be at that position after years down the lane. And for me, it is not that we need to change the society or change the constraints, but 70% on working yourself to overcome the constraints. We in Tinga Hub, we build a safe and comfortable space for all the women in Kerala 
to have their voices raised to speak upon what they want and to get the uh, opportunity they need we create a platform to help them fix their wings find their passion we create a talks events largest women hackathon and boot camps to support women learn technology and build their career in technology thirdly convincing families yes for the past 2 years i myself have called hundreds of parents and husbands to convince them to let their daughters and wives to come to the hackathons and boot camps because there was nobody to call my parents and convince them i miserably failed while calling many parents because they never let their daughters outside but i will never let my dolly fail i still support them still convince them lastly while i support while there were a lot of women to support me in my life there were a lot of women who pulled me down as well but i believe in one cause which is lift as i climb i lift all the women who in my life to climb up stairs when i come upstairs in the ladder lastly i want to say to everyone in this room for me there were four things that helped me in my life if you are a student and a woman in college college life is the best life you will have you will enjoy with programs events fest everything but then you can use it in a productive way as well that is why we communities are here for the four things that helped me curiosity i was a very curious person if i did not be a doctor i became an engineer if i become an engineer i had so much curiosity and i believe curiosity is a key to success if i have not tried out hardware if i have not tried out coding if i have not tried out designing i will not find my passion have curiosity in your mind when you are a student because this is the best time you will have so much time with you explore as much things as possible second until you explore different things you will never understand what is your passion third take risk lot of opportunities that came in my life was very risky every time i failed every time i was like dolly i came up i took up the ris risky situation i took up the risky opportunities i was never fear even if i was fear there were lot of women to support me take risk which will help you to become who you are finally lift network being part of communities you will get to meet a lot of people who have your same passion and same interest meeting people understanding different perspectives will help you to grow and be a better person yourself as in community profession and personal life finally i want to say to all women out here do you feel fear of failure do you feel lack confidence recently what happened in my current organization there was a intern who is from kerala she came to bangalore and she told me she wants to meet me she told me chechi people here speak very different language i am so young in the team i can't understand what they are saying i am feeling so fearful i can't ask them they are so senior then one year back when i was in the same organization i too had this people speak different languages i am the youngest person in the team i also had imposter syndrome to be in the biggest organization in the world no voice came and told me ananya it is okay but yesterday when this women came up to me i told her it is fine i was also there and you can be an another women to support another women tomorrow be fearless it is okay if your parents if your husbands do not allow you to go it's fine you have to push yourself it's not their problem it's not your problem but try harder try harder until you reach that success but last one thing that i want to tell all women while you grow up your ladder while you complete all these fears while you overcome all these constraint do not forget to pull other women up in your ladder because this is our problem that we face if we are not together in this journey who is going to be together women support women is the most strongest thing in this world let's together stand and raise all the women and solve this challenge finally 
to and before this i am so grateful to all the women in my life who supported me finally to all men i have had lot of allies in my life who supported me who helped me to grow here i want you to be that supportive ally if you are a man in college if you have an event happening and do not give welcome speech anchoring and vote of thanks to women give them the chance to connect the projectors give them the chance to do the technical side let them do it they might go wrong they might do blunders they might do it in 2 hours time it's fine have patience if you are doing a technical project with your women team not that women can only do presentations with colorful presentation they can even do coding they can even do hardware give them the chance have patience support be the ally in the team to all the professional men in this room believe me having diversity in your company having diversity and equality in your team will bring a great impact for example i have seen men and women both have logical and uh, emotional thinking men have more emotional uh, sorry logical thinking and women have more emotional thinking and when you have women in the team if you want your product to be uh, successful in the market have women because women can understand the emotion of the customers and consumers this will bring highest market rate in the product thanks to all my allies in my life who had helped me to be successful for the women i am today finally lastly here is to the strong women may we know them may we be them and may we raise them thank you